Welcome back to your daily dose. I am your host, cuz baby, listen. I'm your host, Alize, and this is the daily dose where you know we stay doing the the absolute most. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm pretty sure you will. Uh, Cause I wanted to do a recap on it. Actually, I was looking through my playlist and I realized that there's certain uh, videos that I deleted. I think I deleted one important video, and that is the Bridge of Incidents, or also known as the Bridge of Events. Okay, <sighs> so let's go ahead and get into it. So, what are the Bridge of Events? The Bridge of Events are the events that are leading up to your manifestation. Okay, now. The bridge of events, they are a certain, they are a certain, they are a series of events that in my own understanding can go wrong before it actually leads you to the man, to your actual manifestation of it unfolding. Okay. Let me give you guys an example. Let's talk about your specific person. Okay. Okay. So say your specific person is ghosting you. Nothing has changed in your reality. Nothing has changed in your 3D. None of the experiences. They're not calling you. They're not texting you. They're not saying anything to you. Correct? Okay. However, there are events that will happen. Maybe you and your specific person may get into an argument. Maybe you and your specific person uh maybe you may not see them as much or maybe there's other people that are interested in you but you're not getting that same interest back from your specific person or maybe your specific person is in a relationship and they're dating someone else and they seem happy those are the events that are going to occur or the events of things going wrong that you might you might see it as things going wrong, but in actuality, it's all the things that are going right in order to lead you to the to your desired outcome. Okay, so the bridge of events is something that we tend to get upset about, and I'm here to tell you guys stop getting upset about the bridge of events. Okay, because it might seem like things are going wrong. It might even seem like nothing is happening. You may not see any signs. You might wake up one morning, you might feel like, damn, I don't even feel like my manifestation is happening. I might as well just give up. These are this is these are things that are going to happen before it leads you to your desired outcome. Understand that it requires a lot of patience and it requires a lot of faith, okay? And you believing and trusting and knowing that everything will work out for you and for your best. And this isn't to say I don't want to be cliche. I don't want to be like everyone else. But I know I experienced this happening with uh, to me yesterday. I was on my way to go look at a car, a uh, few cars, and I didn't have quite enough at the time. I was hoping that I just do drop a down payment on a car at an auction and I would be able to just drive off the lot with one. I went to the first one. They asked for me to have a co-signer because I didn't have any credit and um so they were trying to figure out how could they work with me i didn't have any form like any of my forms far as like my income and how much i'm making so these were things that they needed to know i was trying to log into my account to show them that it was just a whole bunch of stuff that went wrong yesterday so then i went to another auction and the auction i went to it was just something in me that was telling me no and i left i didn't leave with the car but you know what um I was sad. I was very sad. Because it's time for me to be able to take myself places without having to put gas in other people's car and always asking people for rides and just handle stuff my, myself. I'm getting older, right? And this was something that was really big for me. And I didn't have the help. And I'm not going to have the help to get my car. Because I'm making it happen. I am the universe. I am God. I am a goddess myself. The goddess of my reality. 
And with God, all things are possible. And I'm speaking to the God within. I'm talking about the God within. I was sad. I was hurt. But also, when I went to that other auction, I didn't want to drive off with the car looking like that. I saw the cars. The cars weren't bad. But I mean, you couldn't even lift up the goddamn, uh, the goddamn hood of the car to see if anything was wrong with the transmission or nothing like that. And it was only one good car on that lot that looked good out of all them cars. Just one good car. And baby, <laughs> I told myself, I said, no, I want to leave. The last place I was, uh, they wanted me to drop a down payment of 1500 and not to say I don't have the money because I do have the money, but I have to, uh, wait until I, um, you know, for my next paycheck. And at that moment I didn't have the money on me. So I wasn't able to drop the down payment without actually having to get a co-signer for the car. And I tried a lot of people and it didn't work. So I decided to just take matters into my own hands. And I told myself that this is the bridge of events that is leading me to getting me the car that I want. And I know in my heart and in my soul, and I had to tell myself today, I woke, I woke up this morning. I didn't, I, I, I needed time to myself. I didn't really want to talk to people. Um, I was hurt about everything that happened, everything that occurred, but I wasn't realizing that these are the bridge of events that are leading me to my desired outcome. I have my car. People might be telling me, no, no this, no that. But with the universe, with God, all things are possible. And you guys got to understand when you see the bridge of events, it doesn't mean that nothing is working. You don't know. None of us know what's going on behind the scenes. We don't know what's going on behind the scenes. We don't know the next step. We're just assuming that because this thing that we look at, it, it may be negative. It just means that we need to go within ourselves and keep focusing on our beliefs and really tell ourselves that no matter what is happening right now, everything will work out. I've always told myself that for years. I told myself that when I was homeless. I told myself that when I was going through the situation I was going through with my exes, I, I told myself this when I didn't even have no money to get to my new job at the time years ago. And everything miraculously worked out for me. It worked out in my favor because that's the bridge of events, guys. It doesn't mean bad. It means good because these are the things that's leading you to what you want. You got to understand that there's always going to be a light at the end of that tunnel. And you got to have faith in yourself and know that it's working out just fine. You got to trust. Sometimes things happen, it happened to us and we're thinking, why is this happening to us? But why don't you ask yourself, why not this happened to me? Because I'm strong. I'm built for this. I was made for this. And see, that's what I told myself. I have my car. I have it. I'm driving it every day. I'm on my way. I'm doing what I'm doing. I got it. It's all there. And I have to trust and know and believe and, 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 and trust within myself and know that the goddess of my reality is the goddess of my reality. I can make anything happen. Things turn around. OK, I can't look at this in a negative way. I can't look at that and say, damn, it's over. I'm a quitter. One thing about me, I don't quit. I don't give up. I persist. Shit, my body showed me something this morning. When I woke up to work out, I felt so good. Like, I felt like my body is getting used to it. My body is enjoying it. And it was such a fun, wonderful experience. And I was literally telling myself, like, I can do anything I put my mind to. You feel me? And one thing about it is when we're manifesting and when we in this game of manifesting, we feel that when things start to go wrong, this means that this is the end be all. That means that things are changing and things are about to, something major is coming. That's what that means. The bridge of events is something major is about to happen. Something is about to change. Everything is about to change. Let me tell y'all something. I'm not just manifesting. I'm manifesting a whole bunch of shit. Okay. Let me just give, let me give it a buck 150 with y'all. I had a, I have a ring. I have a ring. I bought this ring about a year ago and I got this ring because I was listening. I never was talking about if you desire marriage, you know, um, he was talking about, you know, you don't have to wear a physical ring. I was wearing this physical ring for a while, but I took the ring off and I'm pretty sure y'all seen it in my other videos for my subscribers is down with your girl. Um, I was wearing this ring for a minute. I stopped wearing the ring. The ring was in my pocket. 
Boom, I was looking for my ring. I lost the ring, I couldn't find the ring. I looked in both pockets, the ring was gone, right? Boom, okay, check this out. Next thing I know, next thing I know, the ring popped up. The ring popped up, I promise you, the ring popped up. And then I told myself, I said, wait a minute. I said, okay, the ring popped up, that's crazy. And then that's when my friends was like, Alizé, you about to get married. That's the, I was like, what? And it's crazy because I, I have had this thing of, I don't want a situation ship. I don't want situation ships. I don't want games. I don't want friends with benefits. I don't want none of that. You feel me? I am ready for marriage. Now, a lot of people might say, oh, but you need to do this. You need to do that. A person, you don't know what a person's ready for. When somebody says that they want something, they're going to go after it. So it doesn't matter what you say. It don't matter how you feel. It don't matter what you say. I told myself and I told, I had a conversation with the divine. I said, I'm ready for my wife, period. I don't give a fuck about the rest. So all these things that I'm looking at and I might think that is going wrong, it's all going right because it's happening and you got to trust. You got to trust in yourself. You got to trust in God. You got to trust in the divine and you got to know that everything is working out for your greatest favor. And I wanted to do a recap on this because a lot of people don't get to the nitty gritty of the bridge of events. The bridge of events is not just only leading you to your manifestation, but it's helping you to really grow as a person. It's helping you to really love yourself. It's helping you to really choose you and know what you're worthy of. I was not about to walk off and get a car and choose a car that I know I was not worthy of. That's not those those cars were just not. No, though, that's not what I want. And I was not about to settle for less. See, one one thing I said, you don't I, I saw somewhere. Stop asking. And shout out to Leah because I love him. I love him. I really do. He said this, stop asking God and the universe for what you want. Get your ass out there and go get it. This is your reality. This is your manifestation. You stop settling for less. If you know that you want that car, you're getting that car. If you know you want that house, you're getting that house. Stop settling for less. And I'm not saying like it could be something better than that. It could be a bigger house. It could be a better car, whatever it is. But at the end of the day, don't settle. You never settle. This does not mean to give up. This does not mean to put yourself in a box. This does not mean to say it doesn't work. It's not real. Manifestation don't work. It works. It's working for you. This is what's leading you to what you want. This is what's leading you to the desires that you have been manifesting, that you have been speaking into existence, that you have been scripting, that you have been doing sets, that you have been doing sets for, that you have been what, what, whatever, whatever you do. If you meditate to uh, 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 manifest, whatever you're doing, this is what's happening. So you got to understand that, baby, this is this is not by accident. This is meant to happen to lead you to what you want and what you desire. And you got to trust within yourself. Myself was telling me I had to look myself in the mirror. Self was telling me today, you need to trust in me. You need to believe in me. You need to know that it's working out. You need to understand that this is supposed to happen. You need to stop fighting it. And you need to just know that you're worthy. Stop looking at what you don't got and look what, look at what you do got. You focusing on the wrong thing. You can't focus on the outside. You can't focus on what them people telling you. You need to focus on what you telling you. Confidence means that you trust in yourself. It don't mean that you trust in the fact. Oh, confidence means you look good and you No, confidence is a person that trusts in themselves. They trust in themselves and they believe that no matter what they put out, no matter what they do, it's good going to come back to them no matter what. That's what confidence is. So you got to be confident in that. You got to trust in yourself. You got to know that it's working out for your favor. Because if you don't believe in you, how do you expect it to happen? If you don't believe and you don't trust, people say you don't have to believe. Let me tell you something. You don't have to believe in scripting. This is the key. You don't have to believe that the techniques work. Scripting, sets, even speaking it into an existence. But baby, listen. It works because let me tell you something. It's always something. It, 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 it's shit changing every day. It's changing. It's changing. It's changing. It's changing. 
and you know it's changing and you feel it, baby. Let me tell you something. I know I got it. I feel it in my spirit. I feel it in my bones. As I tell y'all this, I feel it. I know it. I trust. And I know. That's why I was not finna stay at no auction and walk off with a beat-ass vehicle. That's not what the fuck I was finna do because that's not what I'm worth. That's not what I'm worth. When I go after something, I told myself, damn, I feel like every time I'm trying to go after something, something I'm trying to do, something better. No, it's something better. That's what the universe is telling me. That's what the divine is telling me. That's what I'm feeling right fucking now. And you got to feel it too. I might get demonetized because I've been cursing, but you got to feel it too. You got to understand that no matter what you want in this world, you go after it. Let me tell you something, y'all. Stop settling. Stop settling. If you want something, know that it is yours. Stop settling. The bridge of events, trust and believe and know this is what needs to happen. Neville Goddard said it. You may desire to be a millionaire and be fired from your job. This is the events that is leading you up to the desired outcome of what you want. So you need to allow it to unfold. Stop fighting it. I'm done. Peace.